Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, once again, it is me, Molt, and today we have a new Town Hall 8 base build for you guys. Um, I've been tired of trophy pushing, so I'm not going to do it anymore, because I'm tired of it. So we are doing a, um, a farming base today, and why don't we go ahead and get started on it. You can see I cleared everything out so y'all can see it. So if you want to take a picture or a screenshot, whatever, um, then go ahead, and then y'all can just follow along with me. Um, but obviously clan castle is always in the middle for farming bases because it's your best defense and you guys would know that um, from all my other videos but we're gonna go ahead and keep the um, the gold storages in the middle as well and we're gonna bring a mortar in here uh, just to protect the splash damage because it's the best kind of defense and you know that too um, let's go ahead and keep on working our way around I just moved a wall on accident <laughs> um, so we're gonna put our mortars in first and we're going to spread them out in a triangle like always. Um, and let's go ahead and bring in our wizard towers as well. We want those to be um, on the inner core of the base. A lot of times I'll see bases where people put them towards the outside, which isn't as smart because you want those to be around as long as possible uh, to help defend your base. But we are going to bring in our dark elixir as well into the middle. Uh, we're trying to protect our gold the most right now because... I need to upgrade since I just got to Town Hall 8 not too long ago. Um, our elixir storage is uh, next important and we're going to bring all of those in. And then let's continue working our way around. So you can see that the splash damage is all in and as always it creates a triangle around the base as do uh, the mortars right there. So pretty much the entire base is covered by uh, the mortars which is exactly what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and bring in our air defenses. Uh, I don't get attacked too much by air troops, so I'm not too worried about protecting those. Um, once you get up higher, a lot of times people will use the balloon minion strategy, so you might want to reconsider that if you're up in a higher trophy range, but for me, it doesn't really matter right now. Um, we're going to put some uh, archer towers up at the top as well, because they are a great uh, air defense unit as well, uh, since they shoot air and ground. Um, we're going to bring our king right over here. He's going to be next to that mortar. And then let's just continue working our way around with our defenses. We're going to do archer at the top and then cannon next to it. You always want to make sure that you spread out those uh, point defenses because uh, cannons don't shoot air troops, so you don't want to have all your cannons on one side because eventually you're going to get attacked by air troops and you're going to be in trouble because you only have cannons on one side. So make sure that you spread those out around the base as well. Um, and then we're going to bring in these cannons, and then we have one more to put over here and then we're going to bring in this archer tower again so you can see that sorry I got something in my eye uh, you can see that it really helps uh, protect the base as best as possible we're going to bring in this other Tesla into the center right there and then we're just going to fill in these gaps with um, with barracks just to spread that out and that's going to be the base right there uh, this video is going to be too long because I really just wanted to show you all the base build. A lot of people say that they don't want me to go through the whole process of building it in the video because you guys get bored because you're lame. But no, you're not really lame. You're actually kind of cool. Uh, so I just decided to build it earlier, take everything out, and then put it back in for you all. Um, but you can see the clan castle is pretty well protected in the middle. Uh, the troops aren't going to be drawn out easily at all. Uh, nobody can easily get those unless they use hog riders to get into the middle or something like that. Um, but again, the wizards are all the way around the base, as are the mortars, and then you can see that the other troops, <coughs> not troops, but the other defenses like the archer towers and the cannon are every other for the most part as they go around the base. So that is extremely important as well. And we have our, uh, our town hall over here on the side. We don't have a full army camp right now. I wish I could raid for you guys. Maybe I'll go in here and just finish these up um, since I have some gems from those gem boxes. And we will go ahead and have an attack for y'all as well. Um, I'm using the Wazarian strategy, which is the one that I came up with. I'm sure other people have used it, but I've never seen it on YouTube before. Um, a lot of you guys are tweeting at me. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, it's mole underscore coc. I only have 10% of my battery, so I guess I better hurry up and finish this recording. Um, but yeah, so I've seen a lot of you guys tweet at me with your raids and how successful it is and how much you like the strategy. So I'm happy that you guys are liking it. Um, it's working really, really well for me, getting at least two stars on most of my raids and always getting a lot, a lot of loot. So um, hopefully we can find a base within the next couple of searches. Otherwise, I'll cut away and come back to you guys as somebody calls me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so somebody just called, so let's go ahead and go back and search. I don't know who that was, but I just hung up on them. Uh, they can leave me a message if it's that important, right? Um, let's see, in the next couple searches, if we can't find anything, then I'll come back to you guys once I find a good base. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll cut out, and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds, okay? All right, guys, we are back, and here's a pretty good base. It looks like most of his resources are in the outside uh, in his collector, so I'm just going to go ahead and spread out a wave of barbarians around here. I'm not going to use my lightning spells because I don't think I'll need to. Uh, I'm going to spread out some barbarians over here. Again, mainly for distraction, guys, because I'm not worried about the damage that they're going to be putting out. I'm mainly worried about the damage from uh, my wizards. I did use a lightning spell right there to take out those uh, clan castle troops, but for the most part, we're not going to need anything else. I'm not even going to fully deploy all my troops because once we get this last gold storage right here, uh, no, he does have a little bit more gold on the inside. Um, why don't we just go ahead and finish the attack? We're going to try and break in this little section right here, and I'm going to use my two lightning spells and let's see if we can take out both those wizard towers right there. Uh, nope, we got close. I don't know why they didn't both die. But we'll take them out right here with these wizards and the uh, and the barbarians. And then we should be able to uh, close out of that text message from my sister. But we're going to go in here and get this Dark Elixir. Even though it's 200, I still want to get it. Um, and we should be able to get 50% as well just so we can stay in the trophy range. And there's another text message from my sister that I'll close out of. Um, and I think we're going to let our troops just continue working their way around. I didn't have my king in this because I just used him in the last attack. But the wizards are doing a lot of damage down here on these gold storages. And I think that that is about to be the end of it. 59%. Um, I'm doing my clan castle. I'm not going to use that. We're going to go ahead and end that. So that's 175,000 gold, 127,000 elixir. Um, not having to use the king or anything like that. So that's a pretty good raid. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope that you all try out this base. I'll let you know how it works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and train up everything. There's a text message from my brother too. Looks like I'm popular right now. Uh, so I always do one wall breaker in each one and then four wizards. Uh, and then I believe that for the army camps that I have right now, it's 32 barbarians in each uh, army camp. I just did 33 in that one, but I don't really care. Um, so go ahead and continue trying it out, guys, and keep tweeting at me your raids. I love seeing that. I like seeing that the strategy is working for you guys. That's really cool uh, to see that you guys enjoy what I'm doing. So uh, we're going to end it here, but thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know how the base works if y'all try it out. And hey, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.